Do you get tired after your channel? I used to, but actually now it energizes me. You have to be, it's a stamina you have to have. I've channeled five and a half hours. I've been in trance. And remember, this is like going to sleep for me. It's a very active dream state. And I'll still sleep that same night. I can channel for five hours and then go home and then sleep another eight hours. It regenerates you. It though, regenerates you. Do you have psychic abilities too? I do. And the, like on that um, video that I have on my YouTube channel, which is called The Magical Life with Riz Mirza, I did that because I wanted people to see really authentic people I'm reading, people that would normally not even get psychic readings. I would just pick a night and go out into the streets of LA and just talk to them. And I like to show my whole process because there are some psychics on television that will they'll only show you the most perfect answer that they gave and leave out 20 things that they missed. I don't right. do that. If, if something doesn't connect with someone- you lay it right out. I lay it out I, because number one, it may make sense to them later. I've had people send me emails after I give them readings where they say, loved everything you said. Every, there was so much that was spot on. These two things didn't ring a bell. But a year later, two years later- Something happens. Something happens that I said out of left field that they were completely bewildered by. Two years later, I'll get the email and say, Riz, you don't remember me, but hey, you I am, this uh, yeah, this I am, happened. you know, like in clown school now. Tell us about Red Eagle and what you've learned from him. Red Eagle, what do I say about him? He has spoken to thousands and thousands of people. And I remember something. I didn't come from a background of being raised by psychics or channelers. I was just doing my thing, playing music, screaming on stage in bands watching WWF, my, people say, what are your psychic influences? I named, my, I named the heavy metal bands I was into and I named WWF wrestlers. Well, you were a heavy metal musician, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I still am actually. Yeah. You can't, one, music can never leave you. Whereas during a channeling session, generally, how long does it go? Generally about two and a half to three hours. So people come to see me That's twice intense. a week. Yeah, two and a half to three hours. Everyone gets a message at my circles. Um, most channelings are just, their wisdom circles and channelers give the messages, but I give personal messages to each person who comes. Can you channel at will? Yes. Can we do something now? We sure can. Now, who will we channel or does, do you know that? I don't, but I have a feeling it's Phineas. All right, get into your mode and then we'll just chat. It might be ready to go, we don't know. I'll see you later. I'm Phineas. Phineas, it's good to talk to you again. It is a pleasure for us to be here. Do you remember talking to me on the radio Indeed. show? Indeed. Tell us a little bit more about you. When did you live? Incarnations are infinite. When one is in the in-between space, as you may refer to where spirit guides reside. And residing, of course, is used by the terminology in your own English for all of us are connected as one. As far as incarnations are concerned, there were certain lifetimes where perhaps you were familiar with the name of Phineas. Though, as to my own recollection, you must understand that there are bits and pieces of that particular expression, that identity, that remain known to me and some that is not known to me. As Phineas, I was a descendant of a teacher named Eleazar, returning in various incarnations as an ordinary person that you might describe, living an ordinary life. But the lifetimes that were important for us were the ones where we were sharing this information of the creation and the nature of reality. And so, as you refer to myself as Mr. Quimby, I am simply known as Phineas, and I have experienced various wardrobes or costumes in my collection that I don to connect with the art. Let us use that logic. Now, then it is possible that there are frequencies of light you also cannot see. Phineas, is there anything that you wish you would have done when you were a physical being? It is a fair question. Looking back upon my studies in the particular lifetime that you are referring to, where a certain type of thought was encouraged by my earthly self, to be kinder to myself, to know that the knowledge that was to come through was for the people and to not try to control it too much, to doubt myself. 
Phineas, can I chat for a moment with Red Eagle? A moment, please. Lee. Hello. Red Eagle? You. Hello there. Hello. Tell me about you. Who is Red Eagle? We are you. But we are the guide tourists. We know him. We're with him. Did you select him because of his abilities? His ability is to love himself. His ability is to love others. The ability is that where do we see one is open, and he needs it. So if he needs it, we go there too. For the teachings are for him, the teachings are for others. <laughs> but I like his body. But it is the right size for Red Eagle to come to. He's, he seems like a nice guy. You? And so do you. <laughs> good. To be called a guy. It is good to hear that, because that means you understand that it comes from love. And it is that we are the friends of you. We walk with you, all of you. <laughs>